What's up guys? Iceland and I just thought we would continue a little bit of the Halloween spirit this morning and dress up in our favorite Disney ears. Iceland apologizes for not making it to the trunk or treat, but someone had to keep an eye on all the neighborhood squirrels. So before we dive into this morning's verses, I want you to take a second to think about some transitional moments in your life. Sometimes when you've crossed over from one part of your life to another. So grab a pen and paper or even just your phone and start a little list. Some things on my list are going to be graduating sixth grade and starting middle school, going to high school, getting my driver's license, turning 18 and becoming an adult. Yours might also include ending one activity and starting another one. Like maybe you stopped playing soccer and then you had time to join yearbook. Pause the video until you have a little bit of time to make your list. Ready? Go. So now that you've made your list, hold on to that until a little bit later. This lesson comes from Joshua 3 verses 7 to 17, but we're just going to focus on verses 14 to 17 today. This part of the story comes after the famous one where Moses parts the Red Sea, and then after the Israelites wander in the wilderness and think that maybe they had it better as slaves in Egypt. Moses has died, and his assistant Joshua is now leading them. They've hit obstacle after obstacle along the way, and finally they're almost to the promised land. Let's read. When the people set out from their tents to cross over the Jordan, the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant were in front of the people. Now the Jordan overflows all its banks throughout the time of the harvest. So when those who bore the Ark had come to the Jordan and the feet of the priests bearing the Ark were dipped in the edge of the water, the waters flowing from above stood still, rising up in a single heap far off at Adam, while those flowing toward the Dead Sea were wholly cut off. Then the people crossed over opposite Jericho. While all Israel were crossing over on dry ground, the priests who bore the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord stood on dry ground in the middle of the Jordan until the entire nation finished crossing over the Jordan. So these two stories, the crossing of the Red Sea and the crossing of the Jordan, bookend the long travels of the Israelite people. And both crossings give way to new opportunities and new struggles while leaving the old ones behind. Our lives are full of crossings too. Maybe they went smoothly and maybe they were painful and difficult. Either way, God was in the midst of them. After this video, take the list of crossings that you made and spend a few minutes thinking about what new opportunities these crossings have afforded you and where God might have been working in them. What's the next crossing you'll make in your life and how might God be working that too? Thank <laughs> you.